All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be going over Pinterest ads. Uh, so we've created some tutorials in the past for Pinterest advertising. This is the one you're gonna to wanna to follow and use because it's gonna be the most updated. Pinterest has updated their platform a few times and they've uh, offered some new you know, targeting features. Uh, they split out into ad groups this past year. So a lot of different options that you have. Um, what we're going to do is get traffic to your website as our main campaign goal. But before you get started with running a Pinterest ads campaign, the first thing you need to do is uh, create and upload your pins that you want to promote or already have them on your Pinterest profile. So if we come over to our Pinterest profile here, we're going to be running a campaign for farmhouse goals. So very small account here, very new. You can see only a couple followers. Uh, so we want to start building the following a little bit and especially driving some traffic to some of our farmhouse sync pages. So we have uh, six different pins we've uploaded, two white farmhouse sync pins, two copper farmhouse sync, two stainless steel. Those are gonna make up our ad groups and all the traffic is gonna go to individual pages. So we have stainless steel farmhouse sinks with products, uh, white farmhouse sinks with products, and uh, rustic copper farmhouse sinks with products. So uh, each of these pins will coincide with each of these landing pages and the same with the keywords and the targeting that we're using. Um, the first, when you upload your pins, uh, just make sure you upload them to a related board so all of our pins went onto farmhouse sinks. You just want a board that matches what you're uploading. You can create separate boards. It doesn't really matter. Um, write a short description here. Um, what we have is, we'll usually put the main thing here out in front with an exclamation point. So we have like white farmhouse sinks, copper farmhouse sinks, and then just almost a short like meta description, similar to what you'd see on like Google uh, for SEO purposes. But discover the best white apron front farmhouse sinks for your kitchen. We love white farm sinks. Try to get some different keywords in there. So we have white farm sinks, white apron front farmhouse sinks. So some different options. And then for the website, we're just sending them directly to the website URL here. No tracking or anything like that. So we're going to click save. Uh, so we have all of our pins uploaded. You need to have your pins on your Pinterest profile before you get started with your advertising. Uh, so coming back over to advertising here, what we're going to do is click get traffic to our website. Uh, campaign name is going to be farmhouse sinks. Uh, daily budget so you can adjust these as you go daily budget and total campaign budget just depends on how much you're willing to spend um, I actually want to set this very low uh, to get started so I'm going to do a daily budget of two dollars and a total campaign budget of 100 Actually, let me set the daily budget to five a little bit higher uh, total campaign budget 100 you can adjust these both as you go so don't worry too much about it campaign placement so I prefer to just do search for the most part um, so that's kind of how I run my campaigns. Browse is also a good option, especially if you're running targeting campaigns with audiences or with interests. Um, so I'm just going to do search for this because I just want to target keywords uh, for our option. You can target interests, and I'm going to go through that as well. Um, but we're just going to target keywords. I think keywords are... Anytime I can target keywords, whether it's Bing, whether it's Google AdWords, whether it's Pinterest ads, I always try to do that first because I think it works the best. Um, so... We're going to click set up ad group and get started with our first ad group here, which is going to be stainless steel farmhouse sinks. Uh, so we'll do stainless steel farmhouse sinks. Uh, I like to choose a start and end date. So we're going to start today when I'm making the tutorial and we're going to end it at the end of the month. Daily budget. So I'm just going to do $2 for each of these ad sets. So if you want to create a custom target audience, we actually have a video on our uh, channel where we go over remarketing audiences, um, lookalike and engagement audiences, all the different options you have here, email list audiences, so you can do that. Um, if you want to add interests, you can. So if I were to do this, what I would probably do is search farmhouse and do farmhouse kitchens. So that would definitely make the most sense with me. You can run interests along with keywords, and what they're going to do is match uh, basically, if someone matches this, they're going to show them your ad, or if someone matches one of your keywords, they'll show your ad in search. Uh, so some different options you have here. We're not going to target interests. I want to be very, you know, extremely, extremely targeted here and just target the keywords that I've uh, picked out. So keywords. So they actually added match types here. Um, so it's hard to see at the bottom, but um, if you enter, so for example, that's going to be a broad match keyword. This is going to be a phrase match keyword. And this is going to be an exact match keyword, so very similar to what you see in AdWords and Bing. Um, exact match, obviously it's going to be this exact keyword. Phrase means just in the search query that someone types in, this phrase needs to be in there in some way, shape, or form. And broad match means that they're going to try to uh, you know, match farmhouse sinks with maybe something like apron front sinks, which are also basically just a synonym. Uh, they're going to match farmhouse sinks maybe with you know, country sinks or rustic sinks so they might match it with some different things like that um, so broad is definitely going to broaden out your campaign a bit we're not going to use broad keywords here we're just going to use phrase match and i've already pulled my keywords here uh, there's two different options when pulling your keywords you could use the google adwords 
uh, keyword planner. Uh, we have a video tutorial for that on our uh, web page. You could do keyword research just like that. Otherwise, if you go into Pinterest and you search something like, you know, farmhouse sinks, you can get some options at the top here uh, for what people type in a lot. So maybe you do farmhouse kitchen sinks, farmhouse vintage sinks, farmhouse sink ideas, stainless steel, like obviously what we're doing here. You'll see stainless steel, white copper. So they're all popular things here. Um, so just some options that you have when adding keywords. You can add all of these different things here as long as they make sense and fit what you're tar what you're advertising. So coming back over to Pinterest, I'm going to copy and paste my keywords here. Okay, so I pasted my keywords here. You can see they're all phrase match. They're all surrounded in quotes. Um, you can see some of the different options. We've added uh, basically a bunch of keywords that say steel farm sink and then a bunch that say stainless steel farmhouse sink um, and a bunch of different variations here. So that's basically what you want to do is try to find variations on your keywords. Uh, that different people are going to type in. You can continue to add to this keyword list as you go, and that's what I like to do uh, as I go. So this is a new feature here. So dynamically target this ad group to appear in relevant searches. So what that means is they're going to take all of these keywords, Pinterestes, and maybe they have a search query that I'm not targeting that matches well. Uh, so maybe someone types in metal farmhouse sink. They might just show my ad group here. Uh, or my ads for this ad group because it matches somewhere to stainless steel and they want to fill their ad inventory. So um, I will definitely click on this because we're already keeping it pretty targeted and narrow that dynamically targeting it to other relevant searches will work fine with me. So locations, languages, devices, and genders really depends on your business, what you're trying to target. Uh, maybe I just want to target females, I can, but I'm going to leave it open. Um, the only thing I really usually change here is languages. I will pick specific and do English and United States. And then locations, um, I'll add Canada here because we do serve Canada on my website, uh, the US and also the UK. It just expands it to more people. Um, and then I'm only reaching people who speak English in these areas. So um, it shouldn't be a huge difference. If someone's in Canada compared to if someone's in California and they want a farmhouse sink, I still want them to see my ad. Uh, so maximum CPC bid, I believe the lowest they let you set is 10 cents, which usually is going to give you a too low uh, issue. What I like to do is start my bids at 15 cents, very, very low. I might not get many ad impressions to start with, but the next day I might, or I'll let it run for two days, see where it's at, and maybe I'll go up to 25 cents. What you can do is keep increasing your bid until you get this message in yellow and then bring it down to see how low you can get it. Uh, if it says low bid, that means that they're going to basically spend most of your daily budget. If you are doing a highly competitive bid, uh, you're going to be bidding higher than a lot of competitors and they're going to show your ad a lot. But if I only have a $2 daily budget, they might only show my ad for like two clicks. So that's why if I have a $2 daily budget, I want to start with a 15 cent bid. It might be too low, but um, as people search these, they might fill with, with my ad inventory and I'm going to get very cheap clicks to my website for uh, farmhouse sinks, which are a very high priced item. So let's go to pick a pin. Okay, so now we're going through our different pins here. And for this ad group, I have my stainless steel. So I'm going to start with this one, um, promoted pin name. So what we want to do is name it stainless steel pin one. Okay, now destination URL. This is important. Uh, what we're going to do is add tracking to our destination URL. So what we're going to do is come into the campaign URL builder. So we have our stainless steel farmhouse sinks. Um, I want my ad name to match the campaign content. So I'm going to go back here and name it stainless steel sinks add one. Okay. So now here's what this means. Uh, if you open this website here, if you search Google URL builder in Google, it'll come up. Or if you go directly to this website, it's the campaign URL builder. Uh, so what you're going to do is we took our page here, stainless steel farmhouse sinks, copied it and pasted it into the website URL. So this is the page we're sending traffic to. And now we're going to track it into Google Analytics. So we have campaign sources, Pinterest. Campaign medium is CPC, cost per click. Campaign name is going to match our Pinterest campaign name, which is Farmhouse Sinks. Campaign term is going to be what we're targeting. So our paid keywords, we're targeting stainless steel farmhouse sink keywords. So now I know, you know, what this, uh, this ad group is targeting. And then campaign content is which individual ad is served. So what they're going to do is generate a campaign URL here. You can copy it. You come up to Pinterest and you add that as your destination URL. So now what's gonna happen is every time someone clicks on this URL, when you're in Google Analytics, if you go to acquisition um, for your Google Analytics account, campaigns and all campaigns, you'll be able to actually track your campaigns in here. So you can see, you know, farmhouse sinks matches to the campaign URL builder here. So campaign name, farmhouse sinks. And I'm just gonna click through it and show you some of the different things. So I click on it. 
and it's going to show source as Pinterest, medium CPC, exactly what we set in the uh, in our previous you know step with the campaign URL builder. Uh, if we come in, click on the campaign. Now we're in here. We go to a secondary dimension. Uh, if we click on keyword, so it's going to show keywords stainless steel. So that's going to match here where it says campaign term stainless steel. Um, so now you can see why how this all mixes and everything like that. The last thing is stainless steel add one. So maybe I just go in here and you do content. So it's going to be add content. And it's going to show I had a click on each one of my ads. Um, so this is just to kind of show how it separates. Um, so if I've, you know, I can see, okay, someone clicked on stainless steel sinks add one. They'd had four pages, you know, during their session and they were on the website for a minute 34 stainless steel sinks add two. So as you collect this data, you'll be able to see, you know, what's driving value. Um, so you want conversion tracking set up um, and what's driving engagement on your website. So that's why we're going to track all of our URLs here for destination URL, and that's just using the campaign URL builder, or AKA the Google URL builder, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to click on promote. All right, so our campaign has been approved now. So our ad is probably just in the pending review stage. Usually they take a little while to review your ads. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so it's showing right now that it's pending. So what I'm going to do is continue to build out this campaign. What I want it to look like is, you'll see right here, we go back to the campaign screen. So we're in farmhouse sinks. Uh, it's going to show our one ad group is stainless steel farmhouse sink. So what I want to do is continue to create new ad groups and also make sure I have two different pins in each ad group. So if I go into stainless steel farmhouse sinks, click on create ad, and then it's going to say add a pin to your ad group. So what I want to do is add the second one there. So I added this first one now. So now what I want to do is add the second pin here, um, our promoted pin name. So if we come back into the Google URL builder, we're going to come in here. Okay, so now we have stainless steel sinks add to. Uh, you want to adjust it in the URL builder, but everything else can stay exactly the same. We're going to copy the URL, come over to Pinterest, uh, enter that as our destination URL. So we'll be able to track uh, each ad separately to see what drives more value. All right, so now we've easily added that another ad here. So now we have two pending. If you want to add more, you can. Um, there's no reason not to add more pins. I've had you know up to 10 different pins running in one single ad group. All Pinterest is going to do is continue to serve the one that, that works the best, that drives the best results. So now when we're in our campaign, what we want to do is click on Create Ad. And it's going to say Ad Group Details. So it's going to say Choose an Ad Group. What we want to do is create a new ad group. And I'm not going to show you this for both, but I'm just going to show you the copper sinks for now. But you want to do the same thing. So for us, we're going to do it for white farmhouse sinks, and we're going to do it for copper farmhouse sinks. I'm just going to show you copper farmhouse sinks just so you get the idea so we're not spending, you know, an hour on building a Pinterest campaign for you, but we're creating a new ad group here. So what we want to do is change the ad group name to Copper Farmhouse Sinks. Instead of Stainless Steel, we're going to create a completely new one. Everything else is going to be exactly the same. So our we're going to go till the end of the month. Daily budget, we're just going to set at two dollars. We're not going to do an audience, and we're not going to do interests. Uh, I'm going to add my keywords here that I've already pulled. Okay, so I have all my keywords in here. It's all based around apron front copper sinks, farmhouse copper sinks. Uh, you know, all those types of keywords, a little bit different variation. We're going to dynamically target the ad group. Uh, pick specific locations. So we're going to go Canada, UK, US. And then we're going to go specific languages, English, English. And our maximum CPC bid is going to be the same as the other one in 15 cents. The one thing I want to show you is I am bidding on farmhouse sinks. This is the only keyword that crosses uh, for all of them is farmhouse sink and farmhouse sinks. Uh, so I want to bid on that phrase and I want to bid low on it and then we'll see if any of the ads actually show up for it. Um, if I'm bidding the same for all of it, I'm not driving up competition, I'm not driving up price. But if I start to adjust my bids here and I'm bidding, you know, 35, 40 cents here, it's only going to show for this one because it's a overlapped keyword and they're going to go with one with a higher bid most likely as long as your, you know, as long as your ads kind of perform similarly. So now we're going to click on pick a pin. So we're in copper farmhouse sinks. We're going to choose this pin here. Um, so the same thing. So promoted pin name. Here's where we're going to adjust our URL builder a little bit. So our initial URL was stainless steel. So what we want to do is come over to farmhouse copper sinks, get that URL, change it here. Pinterest and CPC stay the same. Farmhouse sinks stays the same. Campaign term is going to be copper. And then we're going to do copper sinks add one. And copy the URL, come up to Pinterest ads, and then we're going to do copper sinks add one. So now I'll be able to track everything perfectly into Google Analytics. Click on promote pin. 
So now you should have the gist of it basically. So we have two ad groups in our campaign. Um, what I'm going to do is add another ad to my ad group for copper and then I'm going to create my white copper sinks using those keywords instead. So now you can see kind of how the organization works, how tracking works, where we're going through our Google URL builder and tracking things separately so that when we come in here I can say okay stainless sinks or stainless steel sinks add to is driving the most results, it's driving the most sales, so that's what we need to put more budget behind. So that's why you want to track everything, that's why you want to split out everything so that it's highly targeted. When someone comes in and types in farmhouse sinks, they're going to see my ads most likely, um, as long as my budget's high enough and as long as my bid's high enough. I'm going to have some competition here, but um, lifetime spend cap, so if I ever hit $100 by the end of the month, it's just going to automatically pause my campaign. Um, so. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments section for our video. Uh, this is basically how we structure our campaigns, our traffic campaigns in Pinterest. We have conversion tracking set up, and we're also tracking campaigns like this into Google Analytics, so you want to make sure you do that. Conversion tracking can vary. Um, if you have you know, value for an e-commerce website like us, then it's going to come in here and show, okay, you've dro driven a... $200 sale or something and you've spent a certain amount. Uh, I can track that back into Pinterest. So hopefully it all makes sense. Uh, the key thing is to organize your campaigns, set up multiple pins per ad group so that uh, Pinterest can automatically optimize for your pins and try different things. I mean, if I come back in here and I see, you know, I come into my profile and I look at the Pinterest pins I make, maybe I create a new one with a different type of grid, with different type of font, different colors. Uh, so that's just something you want to test. Uh, you can adjust this uh, description down here but you don't have to um, ultimately what we're, we're trying to do is get our pin out there so people see it click on it interact with our website um, and that's that's basically the goal and the more targeted we can get the, the better our results are going to be so again if you have any questions leave them right in the comments uh, thanks for joining us today watching our Pinterest ads video and be sure to subscribe to our channel